you said that nominalism is at the root of modernity and even people who until now haven't heard the word nominalism should recognize in your explanation there what we see now as things being mere social constructs and that might apply to human nature it might apply to what counts as a man or a woman it's all up in the air there's nothing rooted in even physical biology let alone metaphysical concepts like human nature none of these things have any reality it's an anti-essentialist position so in some ways trans stems from nominalism would you say that's fair to argue yeah and it's going to continue to get worse the only thing that seems to exist is the will to power because even nietzsche you know his metaphysics so to speak is that there's nothing but the flux a certain specific group of powerful people then impose their will in the world and that becomes a natural order that becomes a religious point of view that becomes an ethical system and over time people who have no idea what's going on think that that's normal and and natural um there is no there are no men there are no women um everything the social construct everything comes from power therefore none of it is real including the idea of a social construct by the way you know um you can't be a materialist without understanding materialism as, as a universal. It's a full contradiction. You can't talk about scientific concepts while being anomalous. These things don't really exist. Um, the origin of species, where Charles Darwin eventually says there is no such thing. There are no such things as species. Everything is changing. There's this chaos, this end off, this flux um, from which everything comes out of, and it comes out because powerful people make it so. Um, again, you know, Marx with labor, same thing for, for Locke. Nature is dead. Nature is nothing until someone comes around and works on it and makes it into something, which means that the human will and human utility decide what's real and, and what isn't. Um, in many ways, and Alexei Losev, one of the great Russian metaphysicians of the 20th century, says anomalism derives from the rule of money. It's a bourgeois concept that money is the one thing that could be turned into anything else. Money automatically creates power. It automatically creates education. Someone with money is automatically considered successful and powerful and worthy of respect. We use phrases like, how much is this guy worth? He's worth a couple million dollars. The whole concept of worth is based on income and wealth. And nominalism makes a lot of sense when there are no uh, realities except that flux. And in this case, it could be, well, usually it, it's money. Money is this mysterious entity that can be turned into anything else. Um, and you get whatever you want, including love. So what you think is love uh, through money. Everything can be bought. Everything can be rented. Everything can be sold. Um, they, they, don't, they don't use words like slavery or serfdom, but they come up with other, other, uh, other variations of it. And that's, that's really what it comes down to. There's this, this flux, this nothingness that all of these revolutionary systems assume has to be something however vague, however abstract, something that could be an alchemy. All matter is identical. It can be made into something else that we just know how to manipulate. It. So much of industrialization and modern science comes from this idea. It completely dissolves every reality so that those with power can then reconstitute it into whatever suits their interests. That's, that's what's happening here. 